Knowing how much to eat to reach your fitness goals is just the first step to reaching your fitness goals. Turning those calories and those macronutrients into actual meals that you enjoy is a whole other story, which is exactly why I decided to build a Notion meal planning template, which you can get completely for free by clicking the first link down in the description. But what if you don't know how much you should be eating? Then you're definitely gonna wanna check out the calorie and macro calculator that I built for Notion, which you can also get for free. Link down in the description or somewhere up here. Now, because you can just get your own template for free, I'm not going to go over how to make this template. You can just go get it. But I do want to go over how to use it and a couple of things to just be mindful of. So when you download the meal planning template, this is what it looks like. So to kind of break it down for you, how it works, how it all comes together, uh, there's there's three databases. We have the ingredients database, we have the recipes database, and we have the meal plan database. And they all kind of come together to make this sweet ass template. So if we come down here to the ingredients, let's go ahead and start there. So it's a very basic database. We have uh, a column over here, which is our shopping list, which I'll show you how that works in just a second here. Then we have the actual ingredient itself here. Then we have a, a macro column here to sort of, well, one, just sort of break things up in, I'll I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but this is just sort of based on, you know, what macronutrient is most prevalent in these ingredients. And then there's also a link here to the recipes that they show up in. So if we look, there are some different views here as well. So you can go ahead and just look at your different proteins. And again, you can add anything you want to this list once you download it by clicking the first link down in the description. It's yours. Go crazy. But there is some stuff in here to get you started at least. So again, if we click on the protein tab, we can see everything sorted by protein. We click on the carb. We can see everything sorted by fat, by fat, everything sorted by carb. We'll click on fat, we can see everything under fat. Uh, same thing, fruit, as well as like topping, right? So, you know, again, customize this however you want, but hopefully you're sort of getting how this works. Now, again, I mentioned this other column over here with the little shopping cart. So what you can do is as you are going through your ingredients and stuff, adding stuff in there, you can go ahead and check that box off. And then here you have a shopping list to take with you to the store, super freaking handy. And as you're going along, checking things off, you got the ground beef, you throw it in the cart, boom, take it off the list. You put the salmon, you put it in the cart, boom, take it off the list. Uh, and so it just, it doubles as an ingredient list for the rest of this meal planning template, but it also is your own little shopping list. Pretty sick, huh? I know. So that is the very first component, the most granular section of the meal planning template. Now moving our way up, we have recipes. So here, this is where, you know, things are starting to take their shape into actual meals. So you can go ahead and click on new, or we'll just go ahead and, and select one in here. Let's go ahead and smash burger tacos because that is just about all I eat these days. And how this works here is, you know, if you actually let's make a new recipe. So let's go ahead, we'll go hit new recipe, wait for the template to populate and we'll call this, you know, maybe let's call this PB and J Sando. So what you can do here is you can add this as breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this lunch. And then you can also add it to a meal plan, but we'll get to that in just a second. Now, what you wanna do next is add in the ingredients. So to do that, you come down here to this little section here, and you can click on add ingredients. And you can just start typing to uh, search for the ingredients that you have below, or you can also create new ingredients right here. So let's go ahead and put peanut butter, boom, it's in there. So we'll go ahead and hit this little plus there. Now we have peanut butter. Butter. Next, we're going to want jelly. We don't have jelly in there yet. So we can go ahead and hit this little plus sign. Now we have jelly as an ingredient and it is added here as well. But there's one more piece of the puzzle here and that's bread. So let's go ahead, hit ingredients again. Whoops. We'll come up here to hit this little plus sign and we'll go ahead and put actually no, 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 no. I lied. I lied. Unlink page. Add new page. No, damn it. That's not what I want either. Shit. Ah, here we go. Little, little magnifying glass. Couldn't find it there. We also need bread. So come there. Boom. And now we have these different ingredients. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and, and give that jelly a category, honestly, this would be carb. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Bada bing, bada boom. So now we have the ingredients within this recipe. So if you wanted to bring your different recipes to the store with you, you kind of have your own shopping list there as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. Down below here as well, you know, again, the idea with this meal planning template isn't that you download it today and it's ready to go out of the box. It's gonna take a little bit of work, but you know, 
know, if you want to get in shape, lose fat, build muscle, guess what? It's going to take a little bit of work. This is some of that work. So once we have our ingredients in there, you can start to add in, you know, the directions, the ingredients, you know, um, if you just want it like separately from up here, you can add that there as well. And then I like to add photos in here or videos or, or whatever helps you as well. So yeah, that's that. That is step two. We have the ingredients down. We have the recipes down. Now it's time to make this a meal plan. So what you could do, you could come here and you could select, you know, your meal plan. But I think it would make more sense if we come up here to the actual meal plan section. So what I've done here, let's just go ahead and just look at the table so we can kind of understand the data at play here. We have a meal plan name, which you can call it whatever you'd like. We have recipes. So that is linking the recipe database here. It's a relationship. And then here, the ingredients, this is a lookup, uh, if, I, if I'm correct. Yes, roll up, not lookup. So what this is doing is this is pulling all the ingredients from all of the recipes here. So unfortunately, there are some, you know, repeats. I've got onions there, we've got onions there. But again, you, you get the idea here. So I have a meal plan ID here. And then I also have a week here, which is that connects to Project Reset, which is my all in one health and fitness tracker, where you get this is included in it, uh, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you want to learn more about Project Reset, there'll be a link up here to go see a video I made on that or check out the link down in the description if you want to pick that up. So then these ingredients and recipes are just sort of like place home placeholders, if I could speak, um, so that when you have your board, you can see the recipes and the ingredients. So let's go ahead and make a new meal plan. Come up here. We'll call this new meal plan. And as you can see, what happens when you open this is that it has the recipes database within here and it's filtered so that it's only showing the recipes linked to this meal plan, not all of your recipes. Otherwise, that'd be kind of pointless. So what we can do here, we can go ahead and add stuff to this. So we can either come up here and search for, you know, other recipes and just add them in here. So let's go ahead. We'll add smash burger tacos because that's just, you know, clutch. We'll go ahead and add in PBJ sandwich. We'll add in blueberry banana smoothie and maybe Greek yogurt bomb. So this way, if we go ahead and full screen this, now we have our meal plan for the week. We have our breakfast and we have our dinners and our lunches because that's definitely the way meals go. Um, let's go. Let's look. Let's, let's, that's it. Boom. There we go. So again, the idea with this, you know, I think when you're trying to lose fat, build muscle, a little bit of both, it's tempting to go the route of like, oh, if it fits your macros, you know, just eat it, right? And you can eat whatever you want and you can, but I think having too many options can do more harm than good. You know, I think setting some limitations around that and creating a meal plan that you like and enjoy that fits within your calories and macros because you got downloaded the calorie and macro calculator is, is the way to go. So the reason I built this was because it's fucking awesome, as you can tell. But two is that it's just a way to simplify the meals into a meal plan that you can rotate. So that's the 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 next thing I want to talk about here is that again, now we have three different meal plans and you could rotate this. So maybe this is the, you know, what we'll call this new meal plan that we just made. Let's create a new plan ID. We'll call it MP-4. And now we have four different meal plans. So maybe you just, maybe you're doing a three month fat loss phase or something. This could be month one, month two, month three, and you're done. Or if you wanted to switch things up a little more regularly, this could be week one, week two, week three, week four. And you just repeat that for each three months of your fat loss journey. Yeah, that's pretty much that. So whether you're, you know, a fitness coach and you run your fitness business out of notion, or you're just someone who's trying to get in shape for summer, look better with your shirt off, build some muscles, then the notion meal planning template is definitely going to help you reach your goals and just plan out your fitness journey. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you do enjoy the meal planner. Please pick it up and let me know what you think. Also, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Other than that, we will see you in the next one. Peace.